Success leaves clues. And right now, I'm gonna show you the top five signs that you're gonna be successful. What's going on guys, it's Josiah, your success strategist, and you might be thinking, man, it's really hard to be successful. Bump that. This video is gonna set you on a perfect plan to give you a simple path without you having to focus on a million things. You'll walk away from this having the exact blueprint with the do's and don'ts, and all you gotta do is smash that like button and follow the steps that I'm about to show you. The first sign that you're gonna be successful is that you are obsessed with your goal. Yeah, I said it, you have to be obsessed with your goal. Real quick, I want you to think about something. I want you to think about when you were growing up and you had the biggest crush on a particular girl. You remember that? Remember those nights that you stayed up late thinking about her? Remember when you went to school and you were always looking for her? You couldn't focus on doing your homework because she was always running through your mind? Being obsessed is when you're constantly focusing on something even when you should be doing something else. Now I know the word obsessed sounds really intense, right? But the problem is most people are really lazy when it comes to their goals. When it comes to their dreams, they don't really care. They have this slouch mentality like, oh, if it comes, it comes. If it happens, it happens. They just coast through life, going through the motions. And that's the reason why most people get average results. Average results are based on average thinking. High performance people are obsessed about their calling. They are extremely driven and they eat, sleep, and breathe their mission. Michael Jordan was obsessed with playing basketball. Tiger Woods was obsessed with playing golf. All successful people are obsessed with their vision. I had to be obsessed when I was paying off my student loans. I had over $90,000 in debt. And the way that I looked at it was, either I'm gonna kill this thing or this thing is gonna kill me. I didn't want to spend the rest of my life worrying about Sally Mae. So I made sacrifices. I had side hustles. I did whatever I needed to do to get out of debt. I ate peanut butter sandwiches every single day with no jelly and walked to work. There wasn't a single day that passed by that I didn't think about how great my life would be once I finally paid off my student loans. And lo and behold, the day finally came where I got rid of all of my student loan debt. It didn't happen by magic, it happened because I was obsessed. The day finally came where I was completely debt free. No car note, no credit cards, no student loans, no worries. Being obsessed means that you go big on a few things. See, most people play life small. They allow fear and intimidation to stop them from reaching their greatness. When you're really obsessed with something, there is no limit because you're never satisfied with giving anything less than your absolute best. You're never satisfied with average results. Now you might be asking, Uzziah, do I really have to be obsessed in order to be great? Being obsessed sounds like I'm doing too much. The answer is yes. You have to be thirsty for greatness. The reason you have to be obsessed is because there's so many things working against you in life that if you're not obsessed, you're not gonna make it. There's so many failures, so many heartbreaks, so many setbacks on the road to success. You have to put up 150% effort just to get 100% results. You have to put up 150% effort just to get 100% results because chances are, as you're putting in all that effort, all of the setbacks and roadblocks that you're going to go through is going to stop you along the way. So you have to overcompensate for all of the failures 
This is why you have to be obsessed with your goal. The truth is, if you're not obsessed about the mission that you have in life, there's probably a good chance that you're gonna give up. So look in the mirror and ask yourself, am I strong enough to be obsessed about what matters to me? Do I have the heart to be that great? Success is what you make it. So whatever means the world to you, whatever you would give your life for, do it with a burning desire. Otherwise, you're doing a disservice to yourself and others. Lastly, I wanna point out, if you haven't found something to be obsessed about, you haven't found your calling. MLK said, a man who hasn't found something that he's willing to die for is not fit to live. So if you're in a career path and you're not fired up about it, you're in the wrong career. You have to find what makes you tick in this life. Then that's when you'll know that you're on the right path. The second sign that you'll be successful is smashing that like button. Just kidding. But it would mean a lot to me if you like this video because your like will help this message get out to a lot more people. It only takes a second and it's totally free for you to do. The second sign that you'll be successful is that you have ridiculous focus. A 2015 study from Microsoft shows that the average human being has an attention span of eight seconds. So by the time you're watching this video, it's probably closer to five. People are so distracted with so many things that they never give themselves an opportunity to stick with something long enough in order to be great. Being focused means sitting in a chair and doing the work. Without checking email, without checking your phone, without sending text messages and going on Facebook, sitting down and doing the work. But here's another thing. Being focused doesn't just mean blocking out distractions. It also means not caring what other people think. You know, we live in a social media world where everybody's got an opinion, everybody's judgmental about what other people are doing. And if you find yourself caught up into other people's thoughts and opinions, that will distract you from doing your life's greatest work. When you allow yourself to rely on other people, they will push and pull you in a billion directions. When you have ridiculous focus, you don't allow your haters to sidetrack you. In fact, one key sign that you're on the road to success is that people will start hating on you out of nowhere. Haters don't just come in the form of enemies. Haters also come through your family and friends. In fact, your family and friends will often be the first people to talk you out of your dream. So be on the lookout because this is the first test to see if you have ridiculous focus. The truth is, if you don't have haters, you're probably not doing too much. So don't get bent out of shape when this happens. Just take it as a sign that you're doing the right thing and keep pressing forward. Being focused means you have to have patience. Every overnight success is 10 years in the making. I've been speaking in front of large audiences since I was five years old. And I've been on YouTube making videos since 2013. If you truly wanna be successful, you have to focus on the next five, 10 to 15 years of your life, knowing that one day you will reach your destiny. Being focused means you aren't always pulled into the latest trend. There are people making money through Bitcoin, people making money through real estate, people making money through social media. So when you see industry leaders in all of these areas, the ones that are making a killing, they focus on that one area consistently until they hit it big. So stop flip-flopping, focus on one thing. The third sign that you're gonna be successful is that you reverse engineer. This is the first thing that I talk about in my program, Your Breakthrough Year. Reverse engineering means that you plan out where you wanna be in the next five to 10 years of your life and then work backwards. But if you don't know what you want out of life, it'll be very hard for you to figure out what you should be doing today in order to have a better tomorrow. And it's easy to say, well, in five years from now, I wanna be a doctor, a lawyer, an engineer. But if you haven't taken the time to map out the steps of, what do I need to be doing today? tomorrow or next week to get to that five-year goal, then chances are you're not going to get there. So map out your vision, have laser focus, and attack every day with a burning obsession. The fourth sign that you're gonna be successful is that you work smarter, not harder. 
So many people go through life on autopilot thinking, well, I'm just gonna go to school and then I'm gonna graduate and get a good job and then somehow magically life is just gonna figure itself out. They think that hard work alone will get them to success. This is why so many people are miserable. They didn't think through the process of how to work smarter. Instead, they followed the formula that society told them. Now, they're working for a boss that they can't stand. If you wanna be successful, take the smart route. Find the simplest path to get to success and don't overcomplicate things. Take a skill, master it, and find the most efficient way to give it to the world. If I wanted to impact 100 people, I could knock on 100 doors. Or I could make one video that gets 100 views. It's the same number of people being impacted, but how smart I worked in the process is totally different. You wanna keep this in mind for everything that you do. Always remembering that the fastest way from point A to point B is a straight line. The fifth sign that you'll be successful is that you surround yourself with positive people that are doing more than you. This is honestly the most important out of all the five signs because if you're surrounding yourself around the right people, they'll already possess the other four signs and that'll rub off on you. You want to keep in mind that you are the average of the top five people that you spend most of your time with. So if you hang around five unsuccessful people, you're bound to be the six. Put yourself in the presence of people who dream so big that they would laugh at your goals. Surround yourself with people that are so driven that you're uncomfortable to slack off for just a minute. Get to know people who will inspire and encourage you. The better your circle is, the more likely it is that you have a chance to succeed. The worse your circle is, the more impossible success will become. Finally, I have a quick bonus tip for you. Put God first in all things. The road to success can be a tough journey, so you have to have faith that everything will work itself out. You've gotta focus on planting the seeds, but you also have to have the patience to give God time to water it. So these are the five signs that you'll be successful, and to reward you for making it to the end of this video, I'm gonna give you a free copy of the How to Succeed Survival Guide. All you have to do is click the link in the description below to get your copy. So thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. And if you enjoyed this video and wanna see more lessons just like this, please do me a favor and smash that like button because that'll really help me grow my YouTube channel. And don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell. And leave me a comment to let me know what signs you're gonna work on from today's video. I read all of the comments and will try my very hardest to respond to as many of them as I can. Until next time, continue being great.